All right, here we are at the beginning of the Sagan Planet Walk. Um, this is the start, meaning the sun. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but the inscription reads, we have begun to contemplate our origins. Star stuff pondering the stars. And uh, on it, you can see various symbols. Uh, cannon, x-rays, umbrella, bat, that's one of the better ones there, I think. And uh, on the front, you can see the uh, general plaque, and here's a specific one about Carl. And right down below that, of course, you see the icon for the Voyager spacecraft, and there's corn. And on this side, you got a frog, what appears to be the Mars rover, person sleeping in the bed, a birthday cake, looks like an acorn leaf, and the uh, symbol for hydrogen atoms, um, it's also in the Pioneer plaques, a volcano, and of course there's the, uh, the zodiac symbols. Um, on the edge there's more I hadn't noticed before. Looks like a, well, I guess it's a jellyfish. I don't know. SpongeBob, who knows? A wave. An astronaut. Glasses. Missile or Musical notes. Infinity. And uh, some sine waves. And a uh, sunflower, make it up for make the local green party happy. So there it is. Now that's the relative size of the sun there. It's about the size of a man's head, and then some. And down that way you can actually see some of the uh, additional monuments here. Which is in terms of distance and size. The space in the middle, the glass space, is the same size as the sun. This is Mercury. The Mercury itself is absolutely so tiny compared to the sun, you really can't see it. Uh, heading down this way, we see Venus, a hot place. Carl's work on the atmosphere here led to our understanding of global warming. And that little speck you see right in the middle floating around, that is the relative size of Venus compared to the sun which is way over there. Walking at this speed, we're doing several times the speed of light, many times the speed of light. And heading over this way is the pale blue dot, the home planet. And uh, that's us. Everyone you've ever known, everyone who's ever lived, etc., etc., you know the story. There we go. That's it. There are, of course, others. We won't go the whole distance, it would take way too long, and YouTube doesn't allow any more than 10 minutes of video, and it would take me that long to walk all the way up to Pluto. But this one's Mars, and you can see it's just about a little smaller than Earth. And again, that's its relative size to the Sun, which is way over there. <laughs>